everyone, yes, it happens to the best of us. We are going away for a weekend or on a holiday and we take all our makeup, probably be our two bags of makeup and we forget our brushes. What to do? So I'm just going to show you my routine on how I would do my makeup with sort of a goldy smoky eye um, without any brushes. So let's get started. I'm starting off by concealing and concealing in powder foundation is obviously not a problem to use. Just using my fingers and dab that concealer on where it needs to go. Any blemishes, any dark circles. Obviously if you want to have um, a liquid foundation you can apply that with your fingers and blend it in and you can use a primer underneath. Um, I don't usually use a primer with my powder foundation because this one stays on all day. And I'm just using a sponge and I'm starting in the middle of my face and I'm working my way out and I'm blending it into the neck because my, my skin on my face is really really pale at the moment like as you can see my skin on my arms is a lot darker I actually want to match this makeup that I'm putting on my face with the rest of my skin so how I test it is I take a little bit on a finger and put it on my decolletage and if it doesn't show up, that's the right color. I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm using Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I'm just putting that, so I'm just using, oops, using a mirror. I'm just putting that all over my lid. I'm also putting a little bit just underneath my lash line. I might actually do the blush quickly before I start on the eyes. So, <laughs> perfect obviously if you have a cream blush. You can put that under your foundation or over. I prefer to put it over. And just dab that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I just kind of press, press, press it in. I don't rub, I press. Until everything sort of blends in. It sort of melts into the skin. And now I'm going to um, put a little bit of highlighter on. And I'm using Soft and Gentle from MAC, which is an MSF. I'm just using a clean finger. Make sure when you do put your makeup on with your fingers that you use clean fingers for the next steps. And I'm just putting that as a highlighter on um, my cheekbone. If you want to contour, you can use a um, concealer that is darker. Or you can use, I'm having another MSF here. This is the Comfort one from MAC. You can use that on your fingers as well and I'm using pretty much the whole length of my finger like that and I'm kind of pressing it on like that. But obviously if you have used a cream blush, why not stick with the creams and you can, oh, camera shaking, and um, you can just use a cream to like contour. But I'm using this now and it, it, works, it works really well so you can blend it in with your fingers. Make sure you get rid of that harsh line there and blend it in all nicely. And use the whole length of your finger, don't just use the tip. That helps a lot as well. So there we go. Okie dokie, so I've done one eye, no brushes, and now I'm going to do the other one. And what we're going to use is three colours from MAC and I'm going to start off with the highlighter which is a shroom and I'm just using my little pinky and I'm rubbing it in it and put it under my brows and also in the inner corner of my eye, tear up area and underneath. Now one thing you have to make sure is that your fingers are clean as you move on to different colors and is as you move on to blending out those colors and you also need to make sure the um, fingers are not wet at all. Now I've got a little um, cleaning wipe lying around here on my table and I'm just wiping my fingers as I go um, but I will actually clean them and then dry them. I don't just clean them because these are a bit wet obviously and if you go in with wet into the MAC colors that's going to ruin them completely so you don't want to do that. Next up, I'm going to use my middle finger and I'm going to use um, Tempting from MAC, oops, sorry, just a beautiful dark um, gold and I'm using my middle finger again and I'm just swirling it in it 
and then I'm going to tap it on. Now I've got that car lying there and I'm going to clean that finger or I'm going to use a different finger and I'm going to blend that out, the edges. If you were to blend it out with this one you would end up with colour everywhere. So make sure you clean your fingers in between. And I'm just going to repeat that until I have enough colour build up there. And I'm going to move on to um, the other gold colour which I've got on top of that and this is called Kiss Kiss and this is from Heavenly Naturals and I've got a little trial size here and this is a very bright sort of pinky gold I don't know coppery gold maybe and I'm just taking the tiniest amount into my little pinky I'm just going to come closer to you and I'm going to use that just on the bottom line of that other gold. See how it just makes it stand out more? And now the rest which I've got on my finger I'm going to put just above tempting. So you end up with a highlighter here basically, well uh, a lighter colour than the other gold. Next I'm going to create this depth in here and I'm going to use Shadowy Lady which is a deep dark violet. It doesn't have glitter in it um, it looks like it has now, but this is from another product that I used and I dipped the same brush in. So Shadow Lady is matte and it doesn't have any glitter in it. So I'm going to use my little pinky again and just get a little bit of that on there. And then I'm going to press it into the outer corner. I keep reapplying. I don't want to wipe it straight away. I just want to establish that color in that outer corner first. And now I can start by just sweeping that across and blending it out. I don't want it to come too far, so I just want to kind of have this outer corner here and just from there sweep it across. And now you're going to have a look at your crease. You want to have it sitting in your crease and just a tiny little bit above it as well. So I'm just going to reapply a little bit. Put your back, um, hat back a little bit if you need to and you can kind of look up like that. And you're going to put that into your crease. Make sure you go step by step, bit by bit. If you put too much colour you're going to be ruined. Well the makeup will be ruined. Take a clean finger if you need to blend it in a bit more. And just very carefully work your finger and kind of twist and turn it into the direction of your crease. Yet to do a little bit more depth in there as you can see. So we just keep on working. I love the combination of golds and deep dark violets, especially violets for brown ice. Just makes them stand out. So We've got that now pretty much the same and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit more of that violet just right on the tip of my little finger and I'm going to look up and I'm going to place this right underneath my lash line. Now I'm going back in with Tempting. I'm doing the same. I'm putting it on my little finger and halfway through I'm going to put that and connect that with um, Shadowy Lady. This is pretty much it. Um, all you need to do now is maybe if you want to have a little bit more depth in there, go in with a little pencil. And I'm just going to put a little bit in that inner corner, uh, outer corner, um, and just a little bit underneath. Want to wear false lashes with this look as well, but I'm just going to apply some mascara. So if you don't have um, a liner for your eyebrows, I think you're a bit lost. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. For my lips, I'm going to use a nude lipstick, which is actually called Nearly Nude. It's um, from Coral Colors. It's an Australian brand and it only $4 or something. So I really hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye.